Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today I wanted to talk about the Categories Light plugin that I did a video on uh, not too long ago. I think it was like a couple days ago. But anyways, uh, I wasn't able to find some kind of like sorting uh, for the plugin. For example, like if you want to sort from alphabetical order from A to Z or 0 to 100, uh, there's really no way to do it, but I did find some settings for the plugin, and I wanted to show you here real quick. So let's head on over to our PSP, and right now we have plugins enabled, and you don't want to disable this plugin once you create the folders, because if you do, everything's going to show up as corrupted data. So make sure you don't disable it, and if you do, uh, just take everything out of their subfolders and back onto just a regular game PSP game folder and you should be fine uh, As you can see I have updates applications PS1 homebrew Emulators PSP and uncategorized. This is a new one that I didn't explain on my last video and I also forgot to mention that you can only create eight folders uh, in order for this plugin to work so if you make more than that it's not gonna work unfortunately and let's go to our system and go to system settings and we're gonna have new options we have category mode category prefix and show uncategorized so show uncategorized will basically display all the stuff that's not in subfolders if you do have stuff that just doesn't really fit in some of the folders that you created you can enable this and it will show right away in the uncategorized folder which the plugin creates itself so I did both just in case just to have it uh, even though there's like nothing there but I did find one homebrew that wasn't either installed correctly or it's in another folder somewhere on my PSP I don't know but it's a great example to show you guys what I'm talking about and Categorize prefix. I'm not sure what this does. Uh, you don't want to enable that because what happens is you you kind of lose some of your folders. I think it's this option. Give me a second here. It's just loading. Here's our memory stick. Oops. I'm sorry. I went into uh, went into video. Let's go into game. And as you can see, I'm not seeing anything. I just see ca uncategorized and all my subfolders have disappeared so don't use uh, that setting I would just leave that as uh, disabled and for some reason I'm having a little bit of lag here and I'm not sure why it's probably because of remote joy light but let's go back to none there we go and category mode so right now it's on multi me s me s ms and let's go to contextual menu and some of these different ones are kind of cool let's go back to our game gonna load here real quick yeah my, my memory card has been s slow lately not liking that and now we don't have like subfolders anymore we can go into our memory stick and then from there we have our subfolders which I think is a better look cleaner well it's not cleaner but it looks cool to have like the little information uh, pop up here on the other side but I really like my wallpaper so I gotta stick to the to the original because you can't block ribbon you can't do it you can't do it uh, <laughs> anyways here is our subfolders we have updates applications ps1 homebrew emulators PSP and uncategorized let's go to applications and from there it's gonna load everything like it would normally would let's go back and I do apologize guys I'm not sure why I'm running so slow here I am overclocking just a little bit there we go uh, memory stick let's go to PS1 and there's all of our PS1 games Kind of a cool look. I like it a lot. Not bad. Let's go into another setting. Heading back to system settings and going to category mode. Let's go into folders. 
go back to our game and there's the lag again it's just reading the uh, SD card little laggy memory stick oops I failed again guys I went back into video sorry memory stick to our game memory stick alrighty taking a little bit of time and I, I have been installing a lot of stuff lately I am running off a memory stick pro dual adapter with the 64 gigabyte SD card and at first it was working just fine but now that I'm putting all this other crap on here it's kinda slowing down and I might disable some of these plugins that I have running in the background and now we have a different look it looks like uh, the folders in the music and video section which I'm not a big fan of because we have just the default uh, thumbnails we have like just a controller with it just depends on what kind of theme you got going on with the icons and it's just larger if you want a better view at what's going on here uh, applications and we're seeing the same thing here just a different look on the mode there's our PS1 uh, files or titles and that's basically it I just want to do a quick follow-up video with you guys and I do appreciate you watching supporting the channel the likes the comments I really do appreciate it, guys thank you so much if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one take care guys and I'll see you on the next one